H L. H L. Oh, I thought you said I thought you said you in hell. <laughs> All right, Tim, talk to us, uh, H L. What, what's going on, man? I was giving you a call. Um, I think you you guys were talking about um, women who can uh, cook more freak in the in the bed. Yeah. Uh huh. Which one do you? Right yeah. Which one do you prefer? Know. That's a great question. I, I really um, think that it should be a balance in between there. Uh, but, uh, you know, I can cook myself so I can eat a freak. <laughs> and you're cracking up on your own joke. Yeah, you uh, yeah, but it, it needs to be a balance because, um, you know, one hand kind of washes the other. Uh -huh. If you don't have... Um, uh, a bouncer between the two, you won't end up losing the person you with. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, if, uh, you got somebody who, you know, they're really take, taking care of you in bed, but they can't cook. Okay. Uh, you gonna end up leaving the house sometime or another, sooner or later, you know, they get old after a while. Mm -hmm. But your yeah. stomach gonna always be hungry every day. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, HL, how old are you? Yeah. How old are you, HL? Yeah, but at the same time, HL, <laughs> HL, how much have you had to drink, man? Uh, how much have you, how much have you had to drink tonight? Are you, uh, uh, one delay. I haven't, I haven't had anything to drink today at all. Matter of fact, I don't even drink, but oh. you know, occasionally. Oh, but, uh, you drink it, but occasionally. Okay. The, yeah, one of the young ladies uh, asked, "How old are you? What is your age?" How old am I? Yeah, yeah, how old are you? How old? 37. 37. Okay. Yeah. All right. L I'll be 38 in May. Uh, okay, well, oh, all right. Most reaching manhood. Coming up. Okay. All right. So, let me ask you this question from a man's point of view. Do you, as a single man, you are single, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, you're not one of these brothers that got a wife on the side, right? Okay, let me ask you this. Um, do you prefer to have a woman that you, uh, you go out with, with all her boobies and everything out, or do you want her to have everything closed up? Uh, do I want to have her, her boobies out? Yeah. You know, um, that's kind of up to the woman. You know, I don't, I don't mind her uh, uh, getting stylish and, and, and pushing them off a little bit every now and then, but... Um, just to be risque on an everyday um, occurrence? No, I probably wouldn't. You know, that depends. I think that's subject upon, you know, where we're going and what we're doing. Mm. You know, we don't want to go to mom's house and she'd be, you know, titties out and half dressed, you know, in a social gathering like that. But if we're going out, we're going out on the town and we're doing something for ourselves, yeah, that's perfect. So yeah. you're not a for your eyes only type of man? Again. So you're not a for your eyes only type of man, and when I say that, it's like careful what you ask for. Now, if you are right with it hanging out like that, and it starts to attract other men, you know you're running a risk there. Well, this is a lot of lies. I, I, I don't think uh, that uh, she's not necessarily advertising for other men. She's. Uh, but if she has a keep, if she, she has gotta, a breast all out, you gotta understand she gotta keep me keep me there too. Okay, so, so what got me there is what's gonna keep me there. So you you saying to our female panelists and me that yeah. you have no problem going out with a young lady for the very first time and she got her her breast all out and cleavage showing and everything for other men to yeah. see. It. Yeah, I, I think that uh, just like I said, if you uh, if you if you come out. And um, that's what got you to that point of even being interested in that particular woman. What makes you think that she's going to stop? Because all of a sudden you got together. You guys are firmly together. You know what? So okay. I think that's that's the catch, number one. Number two is that uh, you still need spice. So I mean, if, if it gets to a point where your girl is, comes home and just takes all her makeup off and don't even want to do her hair and get dressed halfway, you know, we're jogging suits all day. Oh no! It just you're gonna lose something. Something's gonna get lost. Um, you know, I have to say, when I do see women that 
expose it uh, a little more than I think that they should to me and as a lady. Um, and after all, I mean, you were with that individual because that is the very thing that attracted you, you know, to her. But um, I no longer will be shaking my head because I now know that there are men out there that that is his preference. That's what he wants. But I, I got to ask you this now. I don't know if you have children, do you? Yeah, I have children. Okay, and, and particularly a daughter. Uh, um, so, daughter. Okay. Oh, so I don't know your daughter's age, but just let's just see your 19-year-old comes in with her boobs all out. You okay with that? Well, this conversation wasn't about a 19-year-old coming out. I, I, I get boobs that. Out. What this I'm saying is... This conversation was about what I would like is a man with the wrong woman that I would be with. I, I understand. So, Hold on. You know, if, you know, if you state where a child should be in and what place they should be in, then this would be a different conversation. Well, no, I'm not 19. I mean, she's a, a, a young woman now. What I'm saying is there's a... That woman that you like has a dad, too. You know, they have fathers, too. And what I'm saying is when we raise or when our young, our daughters come up like that and then they continue on even as adults to be like that. So when you have one preference, another man is looking at her that has the same preference that you have. He's not looking at her as that's your daughter. He's looking at her as a woman who wants to expose her stuff. So I'm just asking, and not really just getting into your home. I, or your, you know, I something. do understand what you're saying. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But you, 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 you want to have a father's conversation about uh, two different things. You know, a father's not going to ever want their they daughter out to be a home. Hell no. I, I didn't say home. No, I mean, that's not, it's just, that's not what the... That's not what the delegation is really about. So what happens in my in my mind's eye, these are two different conversations. Really? Uh, uh, okay. I'm just saying that that woman that you like, how she she has a father. I'm saying mm -hmm. she's got a daddy. Oh, sure. She has one. And what I'm saying is, so when you look at that father's daughter that you're attracted to, when you too and other men out there, they all each one of these young ladies, they have a father, but deceased or not. They all are out there like that. And to me, I don't understand any man that is attracted to such when they wouldn't want their own daughter out there for another man to be attracted to such. That's um, all I'm saying. Let me jump in for a second because I know the original question was if he preferred a cook in the kitchen or a freak in the sheets. And somehow right. we got on we got on to the, the, the exposure of the of the body and what his preference was and I understand your point uh, very well, saying, okay, if, if my, that's someone's daughter, but at the same time, that person is a woman, and that's a personal choice. Uh, and, and then as far as the men, they have a personal preference. You put the two together, and you've got a match made in heaven. Uh, however, as someone who dresses a certain way doesn't depict anything. I just made a post on my Facebook about uh, how not to get raped. You know, and it's nobody's fault that anybody dresses a certain way. It doesn't attract a certain thing. It's a personal preference. So I know I went off in, in, into something else, yes. but that is so, it is so relevant is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter how a person dresses because everyone has a preference is what I'm saying. The person dressing and the person that's attracted to that person. But you said you like a freak in the sheets or a cook in the kitchen. I, like, I said I like a balance. Oh, a balance, that's right. Yeah. You like the balance. Both. So, so can I, can I, can I, okay, let me ask you this. If, if you have, if you have a, a balance, let's say 50-50, uh, is, is your woman most likely cooking in something sexy? Is that like, is, does that draw your attention? And make a good meal? Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woman, that's hot. <laughs> that would be nice, but, uh, you know, it doesn't always happen like that. Um, mm. Yeah, but... It, you know, it's one of those things where it just depends upon the person. Um, if that person likes to wear Victoria's Secrets, and the most of the, most of the stuff that she buys for herself is Victoria's Secrets, you know, the, the eyes that you come in the kitchen and see her, her in some old school big draws is probably <laughs> 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 Old school big draws. Okay, I have another question for you. Are you a handyman or a lover man? Say it again. Are you a handyman or a lover man? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> or is there a balance? <laughs> All right. I would say once again, I got a balance in between there. Right. Because uh, I, respect that. I, uh, I do do rehab work, you know. Um, Ooh, at present, I'm putting the house back together now. Uh, and if you can believe it or not, I do have a, a part-time job. 
actually dancing. So wait a I minute. Both. Uh, what kind of dancing? Rob, you got to play the uh, record scratch on that one. What kind of dancing do you do? What kind of dancing, what kind you, of do, dancing you do? What was your name? Uh, well, I mean, HL stands Honey Love. Ah. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this, 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 this ain't the honey. This, this, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, ladies. Let me, Are you on Facebook? You on Facebook? Honey Love. Honey Love. Honey Love. Honey Love. Hold on. Is this the same Honey Love that I know that I used to? Is this the same Honey Love that I, dark skin Honey Love? Yeah, I'm dark skin. Yeah, dude. Is he a stripper? Oh yeah, I see this, this, you, honey. This Rob, this Rob, is dude. Really? Mm. Yes. What? Shut up, man. Dude, man, shut up. I know you, man. You sit up here, <laughs> sit up here doing all that big old. All right, man. Anyway, well, we, 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 we holler up. later. We we holler off the line. Yeah, wait, I got another question for you. This is Lashandra. Um, so you mm-hmm. mentioned uh, that. Sex could get old, so it needs to be a balance. What if they were just a good cook and was not good with sex then? Because mm. you said that if they were good in the bed and the, it, it could get old if they couldn't cook. What if it was the other way around? What if it's the other, other way around? Everything can be learned, you know what I'm saying? I mean, even in including sexual preference on how you do things, you know. Uh, the perfect example, what uh, when I first... Uh, when I was younger or started having sex or whatever, it's not the same skill level that I have now as a grown man. Mm-hmm. So these are things that I picked up as the years from that. I have a question. And these are the same things that a person outside of me can learn as they grow. All right. HL. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much, HL. Uh, uh, man, we... Dude. I have a question Dude. for Honey Love. I think there are still some questions on the floor. <laughs> right, right. right. Hello. I, look, I know Honey Love personally. He's married, and uh, I, I don't want to put his business out there in the just street. Did here. Oh, did I? Yes. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know the dude personally. So. Honey Love, I mean, um, uh-huh. are you married? No, I'm not married anymore. Not married. Well, I was oh, married. Okay, so what's oh. married? I have a question uh-huh. for Honey Love. We talked about um, that balance, and, and, and uh, I, I want to go there. Hear? Do you think that... Um, if you found someone and she's a good cook and wasn't great in bed, because I'm going to say personally that I think um, good love making sometimes it's taught everybody's not the same way. Everybody doesn't like it the same way that John liked it or Frank liked it or Michael or whatever. But you could, I, do you think that you could teach a woman how to love you and satisfy you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I mean, so good. Yeah. So get I mean, that cook. Stage of the game, mm-hmm. I have no choice. So get that good. I have no look. choice. I mean, because my skill level is banana. <laughs> banana. I think he's so, it a little bit. Yeah, good. everybody, you got to take your time with what you're doing. Okay, now what? What about? Yeah. What happened with the banana? What about the banana? What you said, banana? I mean, what? Yeah, I, what happened? I, I don't want to come in and just rip the, the training wheels off your bike. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 All right, John. All right, HL. Thanks a lot for calling in, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw a little spice in there, man. Yeah. You guys enjoy your Thank day. You, you too, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. Keep listening in. Thanks a lot. Smooth 90.5 FM, WGS, JBC Radio. We're having a great time, but guess what time it is, ladies and gentlemen? Right. It is almost that time for us to say, now it's time to say goodbye. I know y'all are all trying to say, hey, shut up and just answer some okay. more phone. But it's 7 o'clock, y'all. It is uh, almost 7 o'clock. We got five minutes. I'm a, uh, We're going to do a, a, a closing recap, and we're going to start with uh, Miss Ray over here. Go ahead. All right. Well, I'm LaDonna Ray of LR Media Group. Plug, plug, plug. Um, and I just wanted to say that, yes, the, I, I agree with Honey Love. I think the lady said a lot of uh, good things, but I, I like the balance. I like the balance. That, that, that handyman and that lover man. Yes. This is Keisha Lacey. KL. Yeah, but I'm a piggy bank out for LaDonna. I agree. That word, the word for today is balance. I like balance. Yeah, I like that word. I can, I can get the phones that. on. Mm-mm. Okay. 
Bye. 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 Bye.